cliffhanger election it may be, but one man sure of the result in his seat is former union boss Ed Husick, who goes to Parliament whenever it does open its doors again as Australia's first Muslim federal MP. He's the new Labor member for the Western Sydney seat of Chifley, named in honour of Labor's iconic wartime Prime Minister Ben Chifley, but not before suffering a 7% swing away from Labor. It's still a safe seat, but the road to Parliament has not been easy. Ed Husick has accused elements within the Liberal Party in Western Sydney of repeatedly seeking to use his Muslim background as a divisive political issue. Thea De Chaos reports. <laughs> On an election night full of uncertainties, there was one result that wasn't in doubt. At the Mount Druitt Workers' Club, ALP candidate Ed Husick celebrated victory among friends in Labor Heartland in the Sydney seat of Chifley. This is an area I've grown up in. Getting an opportunity to be able to represent the area, it means a lot to me to be in a position to do that. The former Secretary of the Communications, Electrical and Plumbing Union is the first Muslim to enter federal parliament. If someone asks me, are you Muslim, I say yes. And then if someone says, well, do you pray and go to a mosque and do all the other things that are associated with the faith, I say no. And people have... I often get told that I describe myself as non-practising when in actual fact I don't go around saying that, like I just say, I'm Muslim. Ed Husick's parents migrated from the former Yugoslavia in the 60s with no English, few possessions and dreams of a better life for their children. On election night, his mother Hasiba, overcome by emotion, embraced her son's achievement. That's the day I lived for. Thank you. Thank you for everything. One of his political mentors is former New South Wales Premier Bob Carr. I know Ed doesn't want to make a feature of his religion, but it'll be a nice moment when he can go to a school that's got 70% kids from Islamic background, and I think it will say to them, you know, in this Australia, you're not excluded. Ed Husick's campaign in Chifley hit national headlines temporarily when the Liberal candidate, invalid pensioner and Conservative Christian David Barker was disendorsed after his Facebook page was revealed in a Sydney newspaper. In it, he wrote God was on the side of the Liberal right and accused opponents of bringing the nation closer to the hands of a Muslim country. He's disendorsed, he's gone, he's finished. David Barker had also written to the local churches seeking their support, describing Ed Husick as a strong Muslim. I honestly believe it was very important that the Christians in this area know that he's a Muslim. Why did you feel that that was important? Because we don't need Muslims in Parliament in Australia. It's just wrong. People shouldn't have to feel um, that level of guilt uh, and hide themselves because they feel they can't engage in, you know... Um, day-to-day -day society and that to be honest that's the thing that gets me the most. Ed Husick says David Barker's pre-selection is evidence that elements of the Liberal Party in Western Sydney are cynically using religion as a divisive political tactic during elections. When you look at the selection of uh, my you know, former opponent that there is a very strong element within the Liberal Party that um, doesn't represent the mainstream of the Liberal Party that has control of a number of branches out in Western Sydney, and they are influencing the selection of candidates and they're influencing the control of campaigns. In the 2007 election in the seat of Lindsay, which is next door to Chifley, senior Liberal members were charged with distributing fake flyers, linking support for the Labor Party to a fictitious Islamic organisation. In the 2004 election campaign in Chifley's other neighbouring seat of Greenway, Ed Husick stood as a Labor candidate for the first time. Again, Ed Husick and his religion were targeted directly. Fake flyers described him as a devout Muslim working hard to get a better deal for Islam in Greenway. He almost felt like I'd been branded, you know, and uh, for anyone who's had that publicly, it's not a good feeling. We've got the mayor of... Blacktown, Ed Husick was back, beaten by just 883 Leo, votes. No one was prosecuted for the flyers and there was no evidence they came from the Liberal Party. 
Bob Carr says a whispering campaign raising his Muslim background cost Ed Husick the seat. It was pervasive. It was everywhere. Um, it came up in telephone polling. It came up in uh, a dummied up flyer that made it look like he was running for parliament to campaign for Islamic rights. Um, it came up in the, the subtle reiteration that his opponent was a, a Christian churchgoer. Ed Husick's most recent opponent, David Barker, has had a long association with the Liberal Party. He's been president of the Mount Druitt branch for the last two years. In 1999, he also ran as a Liberal candidate for Liverpool in state parliament. According to the Liberal Party, David Barker underwent the normal candidate review process, including being interviewed by at least four senior New South Wales Liberal Party officials. I'll be very surprised if they didn't know my views on these issues and I'll be quite surprised if they didn't know who I was when they made the decision to endorse me. David Barker says he was specifically told at that meeting to steer clear from referring to Ed Husick's Muslim background during the campaign. They said I wasn't to talk about Ed Husick's background. They obviously felt that uh, you might do that? That's correct. They probably knew I would. I find it hard to believe that someone who, you know, to this day, right now, holds those views so strongly, um, you know, did not get caught up in their own, you know, candidate filter as to whether or not this was a person that, that should stand. And so the question I'd have is, if they knew that, they knew it was an issue, why did they select him? Ed Husick welcomed the Liberal Party's decision to disendorse David Barker, but he says it needs to go further. They do have to reform the branches out here and to demonstrate that the, the heavy hitters of the Liberal Party in Western Sydney don't influence um, and do not, are not responsible for the establishment of extreme policy or extreme views or campaigning that falls foul of what many people believe is a fair go. The Liberal Party declined requests for an interview. It provided the following statement. The Liberal Party disapproves of religion being used as a political tactic. For this reason, candidates are advised that such behaviour will not be tolerated. And this is evidenced by the quick disendorsement of Mr Barker. In the meantime, Ed Husick says the people of Chifley will ultimately judge him on what he will be able to deliver. And in this electorate, as, as diverse as it is, you have to do the be your job to the best of your abilities to represent all that diversity. Yeah.